the cool blue light. Like 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 the cool blue light. The cool blue light. Yo, 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 can y'all hear me? Oh, I gotta, I gotta see, I gotta hear. <laughs> no, you don't, yo, shut up. <clears throat> I don't understand why you gotta hate, yo. I don't understand where the hate's coming from. Damn. Damn. Um. All right, yo. Yo, what's up? What's up? Yo, calm your ass down because you ain't doing shit anyway, so shut up. Damn. I don't, I don't understand where the hate's coming from. Your boy, you know. Well, you know, I had to do some editing or whatever, some old videos, post that shit up on TikTok, so make sure you go check it out, um, and on YouTube, too, um, you know, just some clips before I delete the fucking videos, before they start slowing down my computer down, so I had to fucking, you know, do some shit, and plus little man, you know, I gotta make sure he gets his nap in, so he's down, so I think I got like an hour before the missus hits me up and be like, yo, what's up with my son? So, but anyways, what up, fellas? What up, what up, what up? Listen, you know, this weekend, you know, your boy wasn't on at all, but, I mean, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Plus, the missus was here, so I'm kind of hit. Um, You took a whole call? Yeah, yeah, sure you did. I don't believe that. You take no calls. How about that? You take no calls. You just sit there working on your my team because you know you can't beat me. And I haven't even started, so that's that's going to be embarrassing when, uh, you know, I just hop on my team and just pick up my scramble players and then just still whoop your ass. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, you know, this uh, this weekend, um, uh, me and the boy Sean, we went to uh, the soccer game yesterday. My sister made it to the, to the state finals. And I'm not going to say she made it because she didn't really play, but, I mean, she's part of the team, so I guess she made it. In theory, um, but yeah, it was fun. Uh, it was, it was, it came down to you know to the end pretty much. You know they were behind. They came back three two, and then uh, and then that was it. I mean, you know, someone had to lose, right? So, but it was a good game overall. It was definitely fun. Like I said before in a previous videos, I did say that I wanted to, uh, I did wanted to um, go to live games and record it. So, like I said, me and the fellas were gonna try to figure out how we can uh we can pull this out and uh go to these games and hopefully watch them live and and then you guys can enjoy it too and and feel that energy i mean we felt i mean listen sean was excited yesterday he felt the energy i mean i felt the energy too but i'm gonna tell you this i ain't get out my seat that's all i'm saying but um but it was definitely interesting. I mean, you know, there was they had to win for a reason. You know, they were they were they were playing for a reason. You know, to win state finals and 
you know, they came up short, but it was a fun experience. It was definitely fun. I was there to support my sister, so I really, I really do hope uh, that she appreciates that because um, it means a lot to me, and and I am sure it means a lot to her as much more as it means to me. So, full Celtics, my team roster, right? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What's up with the Celtics? Um, they didn't play last night, did they? Nah, they didn't play last night. So, um, but yeah, I mean, um, I'm, I mean, it's kind of tough because like if I go live on a Friday and then uh, I tell you guys like who I think is gonna win that night and then I don't come on Saturday to go over my picks and then go over who's playing that night. I feel like I should like I, I think I should come on for like a couple, you know, a couple minutes or whatever. But like I said, the misses were here, and if y'all know my misses. She don't play that game, so um, just gotta. I'm just trying to stay alive. So if y'all don't hear from me, y'all know what happened. Now he met. He getting his full Celtics team. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I mean, fuck it. Why not? You know, I think that that'll be fun. Uh, you know, fuck it. Uh, let me know if I sound too loud or if I need to back up the mic away from me or make sure y'all can hear me. Clearly, the fan ain't blowing hard and shit. Your boy hot, you know. Um, and if you could tell, man, I'm kind of stuffy, man. I'm not. I mean, I don't feel bad. Um, but it, it's that time of the season, and fuck, Thanksgiving's around the corner. Your boy ain't trying to be sick during that day, but it, you know, it, it's not like I'm doing much anyway. So hopefully, you guys end up doing something special. Um, you know, with your family and friends, and you know, me. I know, I know. Uh, Keen about to go to everybody's house and fucking uh, get plates of food and just take that shit home. No, it's because we fought in the damn cold. That's why you can't sit. No, no, no. I was, I was a uh, little man's been sick since like last week, middle of last week. He's been coughing, been a little congested. Um, so we, I, yo, trust me. Once I pick this up, dude, I got it that day. Like, if you watch the video, I even said it, too. Like, I'm not feeling that well because little man. Trust all. It was definitely way before that, bro. And plus, you know me. I can ball out there in shorts and a tee. That's not gonna fuck me up. You know that for a fact. So, don't even come with that bullshit. Um, but yeah, man. Like, uh, so, I don't know if y'all saw or heard, but, um, I guess there was like a scruffle during the Lakers and Pistons game. With your boy LeBron. I'm kind of excited about that. I was actually like, what? Like, I was trying to understand what the fuck happened. Like, the guy, what, Isaiah Stewart, I think his name is. And dude was just bleeding from the side of his eye. Like, right here. Like, right here. And a lot of blood came out, too. It was crazy. Um, So, I'm so I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm on TikTok. I'm on social media or whatever. And then, you know, the, this just happened. So... It's it's posted and now it's Instagram or whatever, and I'm I'm looking I'm watching it. And all I see at the first thing I see is just like you know people holding him back and then him bleeding from his eye, but they didn't show what happened. Like I'm thinking maybe he got elbowed during the scuffle or whatever, but um but then there was you know other videos and they show at the free throw line he's he's uh he's um on the side waiting you know they shoot the free throw you know. Uh, and I guess LeBron is pretty much like, you know, like pretty much like trying to box him out in a way. And um, I guess LeBron caught him with an elbow. But to be honest, like it didn't look bad. Like it, it, it looked like, you know, it didn't look crazy. It didn't look like he really intentionally meant to do it. Like it just looked like regular, you know, box out pretty much. But let's let's can we really can we really be like. Has LeBron not fucking exaggerated when he gets fucking hit in the face, or or like, like some like he exaggerates way too much. Like he's the flop king. How about that? That motherfucker can flop, and then we watch the replay, and that motherfucker never gets touched, but he flops, right? And that motherfucker like, uh, 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 like oh oh shit, like okay, but you actually hit somebody, you actually cut him. You make him bleed and then you like, well, what's up, bro? Like, what happened? What's the, what's the deal? But if someone did that shit to you, you look at them like, who the fuck is you, right? 
But it's all, but it, but it's okay if you if you get you know flop all right. But it's not okay if somebody else flops. Like, like I said, when I watch that shit, I'm like, can you? Listen, I mean, I can say the dude really, really overreacted, though. Like, the really, the dude really wanted a fight. Because um, everybody was trying to hold him back, and the motherfucker was just running through people. Like, this motherfucker looked like a football player, an offensive lineman, just going through motherfuckers, and hella people had to hold him back. So, I mean, that was... That was unacceptable. Like, there was no need for all that, bro. To be honest, I, I mean... There, there was no need for that to be, you know, to be clear. Um, but, uh, but yeah, man, I mean, it was, it, listen, it, it's, it's, it's entertaining to watch, but at the same time, it was a little bit too much, you know? Um, I, I, I just, when I saw that in, uh, I was like, you know, LeBron get hits all the time, and then every time he's looking for a fucking call or he's over here just fucking dramatic and some bullshit. Like, come on, bro. Like, you know, you you in shape. You, you know, you can take hits, so why are you bitching and complaining? And then you're looking at this dude who you actually cut. Like, you made him bleed, and then you're over here like, what's up, bro? Like, what's the problem? But if someone did that to sh- shit to you, you'd be, you be talking to the, hey, yo, ref, you going to call that or what? What's up? Like, fuck you, bro. Fuck you. I'm sorry. Nah, fuck that. I can't stand that guy. I'm sorry. Like, yo, the last two videos that I made, I've been just like, just nonstop, man, with this motherfucker. Like, I can't stand this motherfucker. The dude comes back playing, uh, you know, with, with his team after a fucking an ab, whatever the fuck was wrong with him. Um, Comes back playing with the Lakers against the Celtics. And, and like, bro, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm done, man. I can't. I'm Listen, I'm... I'm a fan, but like, if if you want to claim that you the goat, that you the all time best, bro, then I'm expecting you every game to go all out. And on top of that, you're supposed to make this team look nice, like everybody, everybody. I don't care if Westbrook is not doing great, but you're supposed to make him look nice, right? You you that great? So I'm just saying, like, I'm just you know, I I don't know. I, I just like I said, this this game. And on top of that, yo, the Pistons were like, they weren't even getting their ass beat by the Lakers. Like, the score was close. Like, who the Pistons got? I know they got what? Didn't they get like the number one pick or some shit like that? Like, Kate Cullingham or whatever the fuck. The only person I know on, on that team right now is Isaiah Stewart because of this bullshit that just happened. I'm just being honest, you know? But for the Pistons to be like, neck, okay. Chris Quinn is better than. All right. True. True, true, true. But um, yeah, I'm just saying, yo, the Lakers should be blowing out teams. I'm sorry, they should be, but they just haven't figured it out. And I'm, a, I mean, listen, if they, if they, yeah, who, if they trade, if they, if they, I mean, I don't see them trading Russell Westbrook. And if they do, I mean, who's gonna want him? Maybe a team that's not, you know, that's not a. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Whoever Westbrook, if Westbrook were to be moved to take his contract and shit like that, that's gonna be tough. But I'm not, I'm gonna be honest. I don't want him to go anywhere. I want him to stay there. Fuck LeBron. You know, Russell Westbrook put up uh, good numbers last night, anyways. So um, that being said, like fuck it, let's just get into the highlights. I mean, I don't know. Should I should I go ahead and just look up the the scuffle first? Like, should we really get into the highlights? Cause I don't really think we want to watch that. I think we want to see the scuffle, man. I think that's that's, you know, like. I mean, I got the highlight ready here, but I don't mind looking this up, looking up this uh, the scuffle bullshit that went down. It was definitely longer than this, though. I don't know if they're allowed to show this shit on YouTube, though. I don't know. Let me, let me see. Let me see, you guys. Let me see. Let me see. All right, all right, okay, so this is, all right, so this is where I had the free throw line, right? Look, the Lakers are down by 11 points in the third quarter. You're down to the Pistons. How? Who the fuck the Pistons got? Like, if we watch the highlights, I guess we'll see, right? You know, like, you know, the, 
But man, you know, how do you guys Okay, so all right, so let's let's watch this shit. So So Isaiah Stewart is right here, okay? This is DeAndre Jordan and LeBron's on the other side. All right? Well, again, the Lakers have been giving up a lot of points to stars recently. And we saw Zach Levine light him up. Okay. So right there like LeBron just quickly just like like if yeah, if I saw that, let me see if I could catch that. Like right here. So his elbows right here. And Stewart's face is like right there, right? But I don't can I play this in slow motion? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think so. But you if y'all if y'all caught that, he swatted his elbow. He didn't need to do all that. I think I could play this in slow motion. Yeah, right here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It's gonna sound all weird and shit, but. Bang! Right, you see that, right? Like, yo, he knew what the fuck he was doing. Look at his face. He's looking at him, like, bro, why you holding me? Like, bro, why you swat at me? So he he knew exactly what the fuck he was doing. La, 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 la. Right here, right here. Swap. Yo. Okay. So you're telling me. All right, all right. Check this out. Check this out. So, so the dude goes like that. All right. That was intentional. I'm. I don't care who the fuck you are. That was intentional. At first, like when I first saw it, like they showed um like the front view, like Isaiah Stewart's face. Like they showed a different view, like. Like, they were facing the camera in this direction towards their face, towards his face right here. Not the side view that we got right now. But they showed, like, when he when he swatted, he kind of, like, got a tip, you know, like, caught, caught his lip or some shit like that. Like, you see it. But right here, you can tell, like, the dude really, like, you really swung your elbow, bro. I don't care who you are. If you try to play it off, this is why we got the fucking replay. And you know what? Even people will be like, why the fucking they eject LeBron James out? Because of that. Because of that. So, you know what? That was the right call. I don't care who the fuck you are. I don't care if you if you act like you're the greatest of all time, bro. You get ejected for that shit. Fuck you. I don't care. I'm just saying. You don't, you, you don't, you don't do that shit. Like, I can understand if you do that shit by accident, bro. But you don't swing that shit, bro. You don't, you don't do that shit. Fuck you. I don't care who you are. All right. Oh, 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 now I care. Oh, shit, my bad. Oh, look, look at his hand out like, yo, 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 my bad. I didn't mean to do that bullshit, bro. You knew exactly what the fuck you were doing. Look at, look at him with his hands out like, oh, shit, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker, look, 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 he about to get up. We're like, nah, nah, fuck you, bro. Look at him, look, 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 look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him with his hand out. Like, yo, 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 my, my bad. Everything good? Everything good? Bullshit, you don't give a fuck, bro. Fuck out of here. Yeah, 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 that's right. Oh, oh, now he comes up in your face. Now what? Now what, bro? What happened? Nah, bro, you don't do that shit, yo. What? Oh, man, my bad. I didn't mean to do that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, fuck you. I don't play that shit, motherfucker. I'm, oh, yo, I don't play that shit, yo. You don't know who you fucking with, bro. Oh, yeah. he's, he's got a lot of blood Where LeBron at? Where LeBron at? Psst. Behind everybody else. Everybody in front of LeBron now. <laughs> oh, my. Yo, yo, yo. Look at look, 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 LeBron. Look at LeBron. Look at LeBron. Look at look, 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 look. Check this out. I don't know. I don't know. This is hand. This is hand. This is hand. This hand right here. He's like, yo, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Look, look, watch him. <laughs> he's like what, what happened what I, I i don't know what's this guy's problem like bullshit yo shut up man <laughs> yo bro why 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 you overreacting bro this is basketball this is what happens okay but if you fucking overreact because someone try to block you you're ah, 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 some bullshit yep man i can't i can't i can't I can't, yo. That's funny. That's funny, man. That is funny. Listen, I don't, I don't support, you know, violence and all that bullshit. But I'm just saying, I'm gonna call you out if you fucking fake, bro. 
never boxed a day in his life. I mean, he tried to. <laughs> Yo, I just love the acting though. Like, so it he elbows him, the dude is on his knees, right? And then LeBron's like 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 he's cons like like he's concerned, right? Right? And then the dude gets up in LeBron's face. And then everybody, every like LeBron's just like, hey, I I didn't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? This dude's overreacting. Like, listen, the dude's protecting himself. I, you know, he's like, yo, bro, like there was no need for that elbow, like you didn't need to swing at me. And then of course LeBron's acting like, the fuck did I do? I didn't do shit, bro. This motherfucker, oh my god. Look here goes Stewart. Oh, but this motherfucker pushing his own, like, his teammates, the, the coaching, like, the staff and everything, bro. Yo, but this, the cut was, yo, I mean, for him to bleed that much, the cut had to be big, but it didn't even look like that at the beginning. You're like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, you guys, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I fight, psych, I'm going after this motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, shit. Oh, man. Yo, you need to calm down, bro. You gonna cost us the game, man. Like, nah, fuck that guy, that nigga elbowed me in the face, yo. Why they, uh, look, 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 LeBron, just chilling, man. Just chilling. Hey, bro, you need to calm down, man. Look, look, man. <laughs> hey, man, that's fucked up, bro. You don't do that shit. Yeah, I used to look up to you now, man. Fuck you, you pussy. Get off me. Get off me. Let me let me at him. Let me at him. Let me fuck this guy up. The ref. I mean there's nothing we can add. Look at look at him LeBron like that. You can see exactly what we saw. Well, done, I believe oh. what they announced was a loose ball foul on Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're right. You're right. He would not do that shit to run our test. I mean run our test, not Metal World Peace, all right? Metal World Peace is all about peace now, right? Man, but I want to... Yo, so they didn't show the part where... um, Where... Uh, <clears throat> let me see, let me see. They didn't show the part where... He... um, <laughs> Yo, so, like... He tried to run at him again, which we saw. But then... um, He... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to... He runs, so they they they, they, they take him blood. they take him out, um like like going towards the locker room, but but he runs in that direction, and then they were concerned that he was gonna show up on the other side <laughs> of the the Lakers side. Like they were like, "Yo, make sure you watch that 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 entrance over there because he's running around and shit." Oh, you know what? Here, here's a good here's a good view. I just looked it up right here. I'm just uh, all right. So right here, look at the elbow. DeAndre Jordan already got him boxed out. Look, they zoom in right. Look at the elbow. Why? What? There's no need for that, right? There's no need for that shit. Elbow right into LeBron. He's just pushing him, pushing him, pushing him. LeBron decides he doesn't like it. So you see, yo, that you know what? All right, maybe um, maybe maybe he shouldn't. But you know what? Fuck you. Suspend his ass. But I mean, clearly Isaiah Stewart is gonna get suspended. But LeBron should be suspended too. I don't care. I really don't care. Watch them not suspend LeBron though. They're just gonna find him. But you know what? 
That like come on look look at his face like he meant to do that shit. Like I don't I'm pushing, I'm la, 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 la. LeBron decides he doesn't like it, so he punches. You know what? If that was somebody else that did that to LeBron, LeBron would have fucking fell. He would have been on the ground for like a good five minutes. Right? He would have yo, he would have fucking milked the shit out of this. And you know what? Stewart didn't. Stewart got the fuck up and faced him face. Like, face to face. He was like, bro, you don't, like, what the fuck's your problem, bro? You don't do that shit. Nah, you know what? Nah, nah. Like I said, I, I mean, the dude, like, listen, Stewart over, really, really overreacted. Like, there was no need to, like, you know, run through your, your staff and, and your teammates and stuff like that. There was no need for that shit. All right? So now, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. He's in the face. He's like, hey, stop pushing me. Bam. Damn. Bam. Bam. And his elbow actually makes contact with his forehead first. You can see the forehead on Stuart. Oh, his forehead. Like, like right there. You see if you're looking like right here. Kind of kind of wrinkles up because his elbow gets him first. And then the hand comes through and just kind of scrapes at his whole lip and face. Slow-mo, it looks more like a scrape. But, I mean, in, in live time, bam. Got him. Boom. Kind of gets the nose a little bit, too. The whole face. And Le yo, yo. And then... <laughs> LeBron's like... Yo, yeah. LeBron right away is like, oh, shit, dude. Sorry, 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 sorry. Did I punch you when I punched you? <laughs> Did I punch you? <laughs> I was punching you. My bad. Oh, you got some blood on me. That's bullshit. He gets up. He doesn't even know what to say. He's like, bro, you just hit me all over. You just went... From eye, nose, and mouth, you got my entire face. They're trying to calm him down, wrap him up, and he's like, yo, go talk to LeBron. He's the one that just hit me all over my face. Mm -hmm. Get the fuck off me. Yeah, okay. exactly. And the ref's over here. He's like, hey, I'm the technical. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> coach has got him wrapped up. He yeah. talks his coach out of him. He's like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm straight, you guys. He's not good. He was lying. This coach has a beat on him. He's staring him down. He's like, all right, I'll be the man right here. I'll get in his way. And he just gets <laughs> to the ground. The glasses come off. They go flying. The notebook goes flying. Oh, you know he about to feel that the next another day. Another guy falls on the ground. His cell phone comes out of his pocket. This security guard's like, all right, I'm the last line of defense here. I can put my hands up. Blocking, 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 blocking. No one's getting by this dude. Hell of a job blocking, blocking, blocking. Hell of a job by him. Yes. Great job. Well, just maintaining control. Meanwhile, I was like, get the fuck off of me, man. Fuck off Damn. of me, man. Look how bloody he is. Damn. <laughs> fuck off of me, man. Yeah. Fuck off me. Fucking let go of me, bro. Bro, shut up. Don't need your wisdom right now. Just got hit in the face. Pretty fired up about it. <laughs> Trainer comes out. She's like, let me take care of you. He's like, fine, fine, fine. I'm fine. good, I'm good. Psych, Psych. pushes Cunningham to the outside, busts inside, breaks through that tackle, breaks through Yo. this tackle, breaks through those guys, and the ref. Yo, the, the ref Detroit goes, Lions need to sign him. His wrist, let him go play, his play for the Lions, yo. <laughs> it's a favorite. Look at Brun. Oh, my God. No, it's like, oh, man. Kind of can't do it. Also, kind of don't blame him. Got punched in the face, but kind of can't do it. I mean, you think you get too? Like, I just sipping on his drink, filming the action. Don't do that. Don't do that. They bring the towel for him, and this guy, Grant, like, goes to wipe his face. <laughs> Grant brings the towel <laughs> over, and he's like, I'll clean you up. I was like, what the fuck's going on, man? Can yeah, we just play man, some ball, yo? Never mind. And this coach is like, all right, I got you. And they just smear the blood all over his face. Watch, I think they're going to show the part where they take him to the lock, like, back, walk him towards backwards, the locker room. Back, yeah, backwards. Back, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. There's jets. So he does that. Choo! That guy gets shoved. He's off, and this security guard's all over it. Get the other door. He's going yep, that way. get the other door. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone check that way. Meanwhile, this fan, this Pistons fan's talking to Westbrook, and he's just classic dialogue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Everybody like, yeah, yeah, get this Love bitch out of here. Couldn't even get the next sentence out today. <clears throat> Jerry's allowed. Second ejection for LeBron ever. Uh, punched a guy in the face. 
elbowed him in the uh, eye and then punched him all over the face. So that's what happened. Yo, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Nah, but y'all saw that he <laughs> he ran he ran uh towards the locker room, but they didn't show the part that there was there was other uh clip where they showed like some security guards going to the like the Laker side on the court and like like protecting like if he was coming from the from the locker room. They didn't show that part. But but yeah, man, that listen, he did that shit on purpose. So, this mother, they both of them are, I mean, listen, I don't think they're going to suspend LeBron because they're, like I said, LeBron, you know, that's, that's their, that's their box office, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But I think they definitely should uh, suspend LeBron, which again, does it really matter? I mean, I mean, the Lakers end up winning that game. Okay, great. But they didn't win by much. And Stewart, I mean, listen, Stewart, bro, you you know, this is what you're going to be known by in the league now. So, I mean, you're making a name for yourself, but I don't think this is the way to go about it. I mean, I guess, you know, great. You don't back down from LeBron. All right, cool. But, who? I mean, can we really, like, Le, I mean, who was LeBron really? Like, I don't think LeBron could fight. But then again, like, you know, in a game like, you know, in the NBA setting, you got to be professional. Even if even not not even just the NBA, just all around basketball. I mean, like I understand it gets physical and stuff like that. And it's funny too talking about that because we we went to the soccer we went to the soccer game yesterday. And to be honest, there was a scuffle too. Like who would have thought in a fucking soccer game there's a scuffle? Uh, high school girls like uh, my sister's team they scored and you know like like we're like oh you know cool they scored and stuff like that and after they score what they do is like the team comes together in a huddle and they're like you know like congratulating the person who scored and like oh you know like like they're you know i don't know just just amping them up or whatever so that i thought that's what was going on when i go back to look you got the goalie over here trying to break up these two three girls over here rolling around in the fucking field like that shit was crazy you know Ain't nobody swinging or anything. They just look like they were just like, you know, just rolling around in the grass. But <laughs> that, I would have never thought I would have seen that shit. That shit was funny, though. I, entertaining, though. It was that. I mean, who would have thought, right? Out of soccer game, you're going to see some shit like that. I was not expecting that at all. But that shit was funny, though. Um, you know, and then in soccer, we saw people running into each other and shit. And, yeah, I mean, like I said, it was it was entertaining to watch. It was definitely something different, so, but, um, but yeah, man, I mean, you know, just talking about this, I just remembered about that, I don't know how I missed that, but, but that shit was, you know, like, but it, it wasn't like this, like, it, I mean, I didn't see nobody swing, I didn't see nobody do anything intentionally, again, we don't have replay for that, but I don't really think the girls, man, you know, had any bad intention, um, but here, like, what was the point of that, LeBron? Like, you're mad, so you had to swing, and then and then after you swing, you're like, "Oh shit, my bad. Did I, did I hit? Did I get you? You know you got him. Like, you even looked at him when you swung. You swung your elbow, and not only that, you finished it off like like hitting him with your hands too in his face to make his lip go up. Like, you know, like it wasn't with the elbow. That was with your hand, bro. So you know you you know exactly what you did. You felt it. And then your your reaction is like, oh, did I get you? Yo, you know exactly what you did, man. I don't even want to hear that shit. That shit's funny, man. I just love that. I love the, his reaction, though, after the fact that you know what you did. And then you're trying to play it off when, bro, we can, we can watch the replay. This is going to be played over and over and over again. So it doesn't even matter. But just the fact that you try to play it off and then you're just, listen, don't get me wrong. The dude overreacted big time. Like, there was no need for that, which is, you know, uncalled for. I don't, I wonder if there's like, uh, let me see if there's like a, a post uh, interview. Um, 
Let, 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 let's uh, let's let's check this one out. <clears throat> I want to see. I mean, it doesn't look like they interviewed uh, LeBron. It doesn't look like they interviewed uh, Stewart, but I guess let's just see what the other guys say. In that sense. Uh, Right. It was for everything that was going on at right, hold mid court. On, 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 first of all, I wanted to know what your vantage point was for everything that was going on at, at mid court, and then how you guys were able to get in the timeout, you know, come out and and play the game from that point. Um, <laughs> free throw, <laughs> boxing out. You know, he, he tried to Stewart tried to. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you hear that? Fucking he said. <laughs> I mean, I get it. You're going to back up LeBron. But he started off saying by Stewart, try to be aggressive with LeBron. I mean, it was unnecessary for sure. LeBron would have had him thrown out the league if he followed LeBron. <laughs> exactly. He would have called a fucking... Uh, the you know, CP3, he'd be like, hey, yo, we need to get this motherfucker out of here. You know what I'm saying? Make some phone calls. Um, but, yo, you hear this? Davis over here saying that, that he's, yo, wait. Um, on a free throw, boxing out, you know, he, he tried to, Stewart tried to <laughs> get his LeBron. LeBron did the same thing. No, he didn't. LeBron. You know, everyone in the league knows LeBron, not a dirty guy. LeBron's not a dirty guy. All right, listen. Maybe LeBron's not a dirty guy when it comes to like hitting people, but he's dirty to get calls for himself, though. Can we can we can we agree to that? Like LeBron is not dirty where he's the one, you know, causing uh, you know, causing situations like this incident. Like, we don't see him actually, like, I, I can admit that. I don't really see him doing that. Um, but him acting that he got hit, that's dirty. So he can get calls for him, right? I think that's dirty. He looked back at him and told him, oh, my bad, I didn't try to do it. Bullshit. Yo. <laughs> My bad, I didn't try to do it. Bro, we see... Yo, you... Like I said, we can go back and look at it. But you guys can go ahead. If y'all want to look into it, y'all can do that. But, bro, we saw in slow motion... When LeBron did that, you saw his face. He's like... When you, when you, make, when you try to hit somebody or, or like, you're, you know, you're, you're angry or whatever, you show it. Like, you're just like, mm, come here, bitch. Right? He did that. His whole his whole face expression was there. Like, come here. Like, he did it. He was like, like that. Like, it wasn't just like, nah, he got mad. He and he did all that all at the same time. So I don't want to hear that all of a sudden he's like, oh shit, my bad, bro. Like, did I get you? You know you got him. You know you got him. He tried to I don't know what he was trying to do, but I know nobody on our team. Uh, one through fifteen was was having it. You know we're gonna protect our brother. Um, I've never in ten years seen a seen a player try to do that. Well, since I've been playing, I mean obviously we've seen it before, but um, back in the day. Um, but in recent basketball, like it's uncalled for. You know you got cut above your eye, accidental. Like you know it wasn't <coughs> on purpose, and you know, we wasn't we wasn't gonna allow him to keep charging our our brother like that like I don't know what he was trying to do but we wasn't going to allow that and um, <laughs> we just wanted to get the win for him you know get the win for our team get back in the win column and then just in the in the fourth quarter you and Russ both sides of the court it seems like he was really great Russ had a good game too plays on both ends and defense that was was that an extension of that or did you guys find something else on the court some kind of spark no nah, we just needed to win I mean at the end of the I mean, y'all need to win uh, every game. I'm sorry. There you go. Russell Westbrook had 26 points, um, 9 rebounds, 10 assists. Almost got a triple double pretty much. You know, uh, must win game. Um, one of our guys out. And guys just made some big plays, made some big shots. You know, Russ, big three, big time layups. Um, you know, 
Melo, big time threes. You know, everybody on the defensive end, big time plays. Um, we were able to get the win, you know, and, and we needed it. And, you know, hopefully this can spark, you know, a little fire under our, you know, what to, to get going. Um, but it feels good to get back in the win column. And that was my question for you is, was there one player that stood out? You said it was Melo that got you guys together. <laughs> How do you guys keep your composure to all this and then get yourself ready to play? Again? I fucking hate him. Um, got to stay loose, stay ready. I mean, you, know, you get a break like that, you know, especially when, you know, a situation like that happens. You know, the, the most important thing and the number one thing, you don't want anybody to get hurt, you know. Um, their side, their players might feel a certain way. Our players might feel a certain way. And, you know, you don't want anybody to get hurt out there. Um, but, you know, I, I think, you know, we, we stay composed. Um, and we had it in our mind that we want to win this game, no matter what the circumstance was, no matter what the score was. Um, we want to win this game. And we did it in a – Y'all need to win every before. game, man. Right it can't just be play. this game, bro. Right, the right reads, guys shooting in rhythm. Um, probably our best defensive quarter since <laughs> – this season, you know, holding the team 17 points in the fourth. Um, so, you know, we got to build off of this, uh, especially on the defensive end. AD, kind of building off of what you were just saying about defense, <laughs> obviously you had some, some really impactful defensive plays, including blocking Cade twice on the same possession. I'm just wondering, is there something different for you when you guys are playing defense at that level, or maybe you personally, is are you reading the game differently? What's different? that kind of sparks that energy from you or, or the group in the fourth quarter? It could be a steal. It could be a block. Um, you know, it could be a charge. It could be anything, you know. Um, but whatever it is, we got to make sure we do it. We have too many, you know, problems with, with straight line drives and blow buys, which putting our which compromising our defense and putting guys in rotations too early. Um, so we got to do a better job of containing the basketball. But uh, the last five, six minutes of the game, we are able to do that. And, um, you know, I think when we're getting good rhythm shots and, and not being selfish offensively, it kind of gets us back in transition and it get us, get us a chance to set our defense. Um, and that's when we're really good. You know, when, we, when we're shooting back shots and turning it over, you know, guys put their head down or, you know, complaining or whatever, and it compromises our defense. So as long as we're able to continue to do what we got to do on the offensive end. And when you see the ball go in, you know, you kind of want to stop, especially when you're down. Um, and we're able to do that. But we can't continue to dig ourselves in a hole um, and fight to get back. You know, we need the ones, we need to be the ones that um, create leads and, and stick with them throughout the course of the Man, I can't. Uh, I'm just saying, like, you're telling me that, that you, you know, like, this, you know, you guys needed this win. You guys need to win every fucking game. I don't, I mean, like, come on, man. You know who I want to hear? I want to hear from, fuck, actually, no, let's, let's hear from Kate Cunningham. I want to I want to <laughs> hear what he got to say to this, yo. I definitely want to hear this. But I'm just saying, like, yo, it should be a must. Like, listen, I get, I get it. The Celtics versus them was going to be uh, a matchup. Like, that was going to be a good game, for sure. Um, but for them to lose by that much, though, I was not expecting that. I was actually expecting them to actually, like, do pretty pretty well with, against that. But right. so, uh, this is uh, Kate Cunningham's post-interview after they lost to the Lakers. And, yeah, Let's see what he says. How hard was it to overcome? I mean, Lakers are, are a big team in general, but obviously in the front court. How hard was it kind of to, to fend them off once Isaiah got ejected? Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, they got some some tough bigs on this on their squad. So, um, sandwich rebounding, you know, just gang rebounding, having all five go get the ball. It's important. Uh, and yeah, I think I'm trying to look for the rebound totals, but yeah, they out-rebounded out us. Um, and I mean, you know, that that's the type of stuff that I think if we can get a little bit more togetherness on that, trying to, you know, fill that void. Obviously, Isaiah's a big-time rebounder. He helps us a lot with that, but um, when he steps out, if we can 
you know, come together and try to try to fill that, I think that would be huge for them. When we mentioned you guys had 27 assists in the first three quarters and then zero and four, it seemed like them going to zone really forced you guys to get the ball movement, and that's when you guys looked at your best. Why do you think it is that that, that maybe the ball stopped moving as much as it was in the game that uh, I mean, I think, you know, maybe we just got bored with – with moving the ball, something like that. Got um, bored with moving the ball. You know, there's, a, there's a lot of different things. Uh, guys are confident. That's the game, bro. You got to move the ball. Like and, you know, I feel like that kind of took away from the ball movement. But, um, you know, just something to learn from and, and apply to the next game. What did you learn about just um, kind of your together? After the incident and everything, and just how did you go back to – getting into a game mindset after something that stops, it, it gets your emotions up, it stops the game, time, everything else. How do you get back together? Uh, I mean, just remembering while you're there. Uh, you're there to win a basketball game. Uh, and so, you know, something like that happens. I think just, just trying to recenter yourself and, and stay in the moment, uh, you know, that's huge. Um, you know, and I think just, just – Talking with your team, you know, bringing each other together. I think that's the biggest thing you can do in a moment like that. Not separate. I feel like, you know, if you start being too worried about the environment, what's going on, everybody standing up, things like that, then it could get ugly. But no, I think we did a pretty good job of getting our mind back on straight. What were you thinking when you were trying to stop Isaiah when he was kind of heated? That's a big dude that you're trying to get in the way of. You said, what was I thinking? I'm trying to stop him from <laughs> maybe getting into trouble. I don't know. Something like that. Triple double for you. You keep pocketing, flipping away, and chipping away all these milestones earlier in your career situation. How do you judge a night like this when you do something like that, but you guys don't get to win and an incident like that unfolds? Um, I mean, I think I think we did a lot of good things today. Uh, but I mean, it's just another another step that we need to take. Um. Uh, you know, I think we made some progress, but now we know we got to close out fourth quarters better, things like that. Um, I mean, it's, it's, I'm happy to see that I was able to accomplish something like that. That's, that's big time. But I think, you know, winning the game is is even greater than that. So, um, you know, I'm still going to go home kind of sour that we lost. But, uh, you know, just trying to get better, get, you know, talk to the team, get our minds together, and then move forward. Yeah, I mean, everybody went to, was ready to compete, wanted to compete. Um, and, I mean, that's so, I think, you know, having guys like that really brings, you know, a different fight to a team. And, and you know, having our bench come in the way they did and bring a spark, I mean, was huge for us. So, uh, you know, just staying consistent with that throughout the season, I think, would be, you know, the next step. Appreciate you. See – what I like about what he just said, and Mills, you can you can back me up on that one because we spoke about this yesterday, is like having a bench to give you that spark. Because we were watching the soccer game yesterday, and the team my sister was facing, you know, they constantly kept substituting their players back and forth, like giving them a couple of minutes to rest and stuff like that. And, I mean, I don't know if, if that's the reason why they won, but it could have been a factor, you know? And, you know, to give your key players some time to rest, especially since they're running back and forth and stuff like that, like they get tired, right? So that bench player who's getting a couple minutes in the game is going to maybe bring a little bit of that energy that's been missing throughout the game. And I like what he just said. He just said that... um. He just said, like, you know, his bench. They come in, bring, you know, give him a spark and stuff like that. So that's what I'm talking about. It's like, you know, like these star players may think like they need to be in the game 24-7. They they listen, if you're gonna help the team win, great. If not, I like to be honest with LeBron, I really don't like his energy. Um that's just, like I said, when I watch, this is, this is what pisses me off, though, 
if you watch the Lakers play and LeBron is playing, like, you just see him just cruising along, bro. It's just like, I don't know. It, 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 it's like he's playing with a swag. Like, listen, if you're, listen, I get it. If you're the shit, you're the best, whatever, but you're fucking winning and shit, you can have all the swag you want, bro. But you're not winning. Everybody's talking about the Lakers on how they can't even come together. You got Hall of Famers on your team or future Hall of Famers. And what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I, I just can't. I can't watch him play because it just pisses me off how everybody considers him like he's the shit, he's the best of all time and all that shit. If you're the greatest, if you're the best, your your mindset, your energy level is on high. There was a the post interview after the Celtics game. They asked him, "Should you be in panic mode?" Dude just is like, "Nope." Just like, it's no need to, you know, panic mode but whatever the fuck I, I don't know I'm just saying I know they showed the clip of it and that's how he was he was acting he was just like in chill mode and another thing too I said too um cause I was watching um I actually went live uh while watching the game so I kinda like kinda reacted to it and um and uh they showed a clip of Frank Vogel in the fucking uh, huddle and, and just, like, it was just, I don't know, man. What he said, it was not what a coach is supposed to fucking say when you're down. It, it was just like, why? These guys don't need motivation. Like, you you guys are professionals. You guys been in the league for how long? And um, why don't, this is why I say Frank Vogel's a fucking puppet. And LeBron's the puppet master. Because you these guys don't need to be coached. I mean, that's just me, okay? You can name all the coaches that LeBron has had. They're all they're all puppets, except for Eric Spolstra. I, I don't think LeBron will deal with that bullshit. But everybody else, Mike Brown, Tyron Lou, Frank Vogel, Westbrook does not need to be coached. Shut up. No, he does not, all right? He just can't be playing alongside somebody who plays the same style as him. All right, or who needs to have the who needs to have the ball at all times? All right, and we know LeBron needs to have the ball at all times. Like, don't get me wrong. Like the Celtics game, they were you know the offense is being is 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 through Anthony Davis, but that motherfucker is just settling for just shots. Like he's just catching the ball by like the elbow, and then just like like giving this back to the defender, and then he'll just turn around and shoot it instead of just like. Backing the guy up to the basket, forcing another defender to come help, which frees somebody else to to get a jump shot. You know what I'm saying? But it's just it's just the way they're playing. It's just I don't know. <laughs> Fight the guy. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, man. I don't. I don't think Westbrook would fight the coach. I don't think we've seen that. Or I don't. I don't think so. Um. He's a loose cannon. Uh, look, I watched him right now. Since he left, it's a team game, not a I will dribble, 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 and pass to get my triple double. <sighs> I mean, I get it. But I'm just saying, like, you know, you've been in, you know, this dude goes from OKC to, to Houston to Washington. And it's pretty much has always been a ball dominant player. Like he's always had have to, he has to have the ball at all times. All right. Um, but I'm my mindset behind this like, okay, you're going to LA where you wanna be, where you're from, you know you're gonna make sacrifices, or you have to make sacrifices in order to get it together and build build that 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 chemistry where y'all yeah, all can actually play ball together and win. So, I'm just saying, like, my mind says, like, all right, bro, like, this is your opportunity right now to make it to the finals. You don't think I would sacrifice? I would sacrifice a lot. I'll come off the fucking bench. I don't care. I do not care. 
especially me knowing, like, okay, listen, I'm not in the league, and I'm just saying if I'm able to analyze this and be like, LeBron and Russell Westbrook are the same player. All right? LeBron obviously is more at pace, takes his time, which Russell Westbrook plays fast. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker attacks the basket. LeBron, like, you know, he'll settle for some, he'll, I mean, he's settling a lot for shots. But, like, when he wants, when he, if he really wants to attack the basket, that motherfucker will attack the basket. Russell Westbrook needs to just, it's just all attack. You know what I'm saying? But he's also trying to get these motherfuckers involved. And I guess the 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 way Frank Vogel, if you want to say he's the one running the team, the way he's coaching it or whatever, like whatever game plan they have, it's not working for Westbrook, right? But when you got LeBron off the fucking court and it's Westbrook and Davis, they look just fine. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look at Jimmy. He made the Wolves better. Okay. Philly better now, Miami better, and look at his play style. He's not ball dominant. He's a team player. Uh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Nah, I think you know what it is. I think it's like Jimmy. Jim, the coaches, man. Like the coaches are doing their thing because Tom Thibodeau was in, in with the T Wolves, right? Philly, you had um, uh, was it Doc? Was it Doc? Maybe not. I think Doc came after, but I think Doc was there too, probably like the last year, Jimmy. Um, and then Miami, come on, man, Eric Spoelstra, like I, I give him, I give him credit, like you know, these are good coaches though, but Jimmy is not the fucking puppet master. You get what I'm saying? Like, you got, okay, look, listen, with Philly, Jimmy could have stayed with Philly knowing that he had an opportunity to make it to the finals with that group of guys, though. Let's be honest. That motherfucker, you have Ben Simmons. He has Joel Embiid. I believe they had Tobias Harris. Like, right? And they had a solid bench, too, if I'm not mistaken, because I, I think they had, like, uh, fuck, Ilya Sova. That motherfucker was nice. Um, uh, TJ McDonald, I believe. Uh, I think even JJ was JJ Reddick there too. Nah, bro, it's the coach, man. Come on, man. Listen, don't get me wrong. Jimmy, listen, Jimmy Butler's nice, okay? Jimmy Butler's nice, but I'm just saying, when, when, you know, you got the coaches who support you with that that cast that you need to be successful. But listen, the Wolves didn't go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Jimmy Butler played his game, and then he went to Philly, and with Philly. You had stars on your team, bro. It's not just him by himself. It's with the coaching, and then it's with the uh, the players that you have alongside you, too. It's not just you by yourself, bro, who can play their position. When you got LeBron, and then you bring in a Russell Westbrook, that's that's they're both the exact same player that need to have the ball. Jimmy Butler does not need to have the ball. You know what I'm saying? Jimmy Butler does not need to have the ball. So that's, that's the thing, like, Jimmy Butler could be like, let everybody else play. And you know what? That's how Jimmy Butler plays, though. Jimmy Butler definitely lets everybody else get their groove on, like get into into their game and see how the game plays out. Because, yo, even in the playoffs, we're like, where the fuck Jimmy Butler at? He's in the game, but you look at his stat, what the fuck did he do? But if you, you see him trying to, like, get others involved in the game, which makes the game easier for him because he knows he can pretty much get his shot whenever he wants. But Jimmy Butler plays where he likes to get everybody else involved first, get their, get them involved, and then he'll come. You know what I'm saying? Then he'll come in and do his part if he needs to. <clears throat> to go worse. He didn't take, listen, Miami was not, they weren't bad. Like, for you guys to make it to the finals, you're making it seem like it was just all Butler. It was like, you're pretty much saying, like, it was like when LeBron uh, made it to the finals with that group of guys in, like, I forgot, 2000-something. Westbrook doesn't need it either. He can play, like, a slasher and cover drugs. Exactly. Westbrook could do that, okay? But it's just like, he is. it's just like when I play 2K and I'm over here slashing to the basket and you don't give me the fucking ball. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what you do. So it's like, okay, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, I can't just stand by the three-point line, 
and just settle for a three if I know I can't shoot. So in order to win, you got to move the ball. It can't just be one-on-one ISO. It can't. That's not that's not the league in no more or ever. You can't play ball like that. You know, but I'm just saying like, you know, I you know, we I grew up watching Westbrook. And it just, you know, he does not move the ball. That's the issue. Listen, he moves the ball, but when there's no Davis, it's just pretty much like, okay, you take Anthony Davis out. Who the fuck do you have to pass the ball to? Mello? That's all you got. <laughs> he throws trash passes because when he realizes who he passes it to, he's like, oh, fuck. Listen, you listen. Even when you play ball, or more more like two K, when you play two K and you make passes, you're always turning the ball over. So it's the same shit. You know what I'm saying? He's not averaging as much as you are, but I'm just saying you throw the ball too because you're trying to facilitate as well, and you end up throwing these fucking whack ass passes. Like with the flashy passes, there's no need for that shit. You know. DeAndre, <laughs> yeah, he'll pass it to DeAndre Jordan. He's like, oh, fuck. And DeAndre Jordan's over here just posted at the three. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I think uh, Westbrook just needs to play his game. I don't, even if even if he doesn't pass the ball, bro, just like keep attacking the basket, get to the free throw line. Eventually, the defense is going to start crowding up the paint, which is going to allow you to facilitate and throw the ball out to shooters. I'm sure. Hopefully, you know, the coaches realize, okay, let's put Wayne Ellington out there. Let's put Baysmore. Bro, the Celtics game, they didn't play until the fourth quarter with, like, four minutes left. He didn't play his bench players. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, you got to play your bench players and and let the young. I mean, wait, I don't think Wayne Ellington is that young. But King Baysmore is young. Malik Monk is young. Like, they they will, like, create some type of spark off the bench. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to like explain. Like you surround that with Russell Westbrook, who's keep attacking the basket, and he's dishing it out to these young guys who just want to fucking just you know get get their minutes in and and play ball. I feel like they'll be they'll be all right, bro. That team has players to pass to. He is not passing. It's saying, oh fuck, no one to pass to. His ass thinks thinks he's still in OKC with no teammates. He needs to trust his damn teammates. <sighs> True, but I think I think he's better off continue like he needs to play his way. I don't think he's able to play his way with Davis and LeBron on the court. I think Westbrook can can play his his best, and that motherfucker is still like I said. All he he doesn't even need to shoot. I'm I'm not if I'm if I'm his coach. I'm gonna tell Westbrook Westbrook you do not need to shoot the ball. Attack the basket. That's it. No, he doesn't need to play his way. Yes, he does. And okay, 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 okay. I all right, all right. So what you mean by he doesn't need to play his way? Okay, facilitating wise, like forcing these whack ass passes and shit. Okay, I get that. But I'm what I'm what I mean by him, he needs to play his way. I think what I mean by that, he needs to keep attacking the basket. And I'm not saying attack the basket and then pass. No, 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 no. Keep build build that momentum up, bro. Keep attacking the basket. Get to the free throw line. Then once you're settled in and then the defense is starting to crowd the paint, then you start passing. And the passes won't won't be bad passes. They'll be like it'll it, it would make sense. He's never won his way. Why keep playing that way? Listen. He he can win. I, I feel I feel confident enough that he can win. He can't win by himself though. Bob changed his game and got a ring. Same with Kevin Love. He needs to adjust. He's not the first option anymore. I know. I know he's not. That's why I'm saying him and LeBron cannot play together. They can't. If they do play together, they they both they need to sacrifice. They need to come up with like, okay, who's who's playing point at that point? And honestly, I think Westbrook should run point, and LeBron could play big in the post. LeBron could back motherfuckers up, 
You know what I'm saying? He can do a little turnaround fade away. He he does that a lot, so why not just settle with that, bro? You know? I think I think that's what needs to happen. I think Russell Westbrook could keep attacking the basket. Yo, fucking you could do a pick and roll with, with LeBron and Davis all day. Throw alley oops to those, both of them motherfuckers. Even Dwight Howard too. Like that's all day. Pick and roll all day. You know? And we're picking pot with uh, Anthony Davis and LeBron because they both can shoot the mid range at. You know, I mean, especially they, I think Davis could shoot better than LeBron, but I'm just saying like they both could shoot. You know what I'm saying? DeAndre Jordan, Dwight Howard, they're they're not shooters, but hey, those those guys can definitely catch alley oops, and and that's what I'm saying. Like it's as simple as that, and before you know it, you have your you have ten assists already in the game. I'm just saying, and. You do the pick and roll, right? I get it. He hasn't been taking care of the ball lately, man. He's just forcing a lot of things, but I feel like I, I don't know, man. I just feel like he he can he can play his game, man. It's just I don't know. I, I just think there's this there's, there's more to it than we know. I think there's more to it than we know. Like they make it seem like they're all cool and and you know they're all brothers and shit, but I don't know. I feel like there's more to it than that. I just really think Westbrook. I think Westbrook could get his shit together. I really think he could, but I don't know. And then you can't have Rondo and Russ play together either because Rondo's not. I mean, when I think of Rondo, I think of him when he played with the Celtics, man. That dude was, like, automatic every time he went to the basket. Every time. Every time. So, but Rondo, you know, he's got, he's got, he's worked on his three. And you see him knocking down threes and shit. So, I think that's what Westbrook needs to work on, man. Fuck it, man. I want to hear what I want to hear what Melo had to say, yo. What up, Melo? All right, all right, let's, let's see what he's at. Oh, so a couple of the guys in post game just mentioned that you were key uh, with everything going on with the stuff on the court with Stewart and LeBron and just kind of getting everybody settled up. What were the things you were trying to get across to your teammates? I mean, in, in the midst of kind of that battle or whatever you want to call it the midst of the storm the outer storm it was just a matter of just keeping everybody composed you know we, we could have easily um you know let the game slip away or continue to let the game slip away but as, as a team we needed to come together at that moment because we i mean it's, it's unfortunate about what happened in the incident the situation but we needed something like that to kind of spark our fire uh, we haven't had anything like that this year to test us from a physical standpoint. Uh, and I think tonight, um, although, like I said, it was, it was unfortunate what happened, uh, we, we needed that to spark something. And, and oh, and it, it, didn't, it, it did. man. We saw that uh, certainly as you guys are racing a 15-point deficit going into the fourth quarter. Uh, you, A.D., Russ uh, did a lot of the leading there. Like, what do you call upon there as you, as you try to make sure everyone's coming? I mean, we just took it to another level. Uh, uh, the focus that we had after, after, you know, the, the stoppage of the game, uh, you could see that, you know, how we was able to lock in uh, mentally, uh, physically, we was able to lock in um, and just chip away. You know, this is one of them games, you know, you couldn't let them get a team like Detroit, get confidence, um, get momentum. And, I, you know, coming into the, the fourth quarter, it was just like we, I felt like we had the momentum. And I, I just wanted to tell it, I, my team that and the guys on the team that we had this momentum, let's take advantage of it. If we continue doing what we're doing, let's keep chipping away at it, and we don't give ourselves a chance to win. Is there a challenge there just to, as a as a human, like as a man, when stuff's going on in the court, where, but you're kind of fighting the instincts and knowing the bigger picture? Are you guys, the guys able to hear this? Don't want it's not to too loud, too yeah, low, well, or anything like we, that? We was aware. I, I was very much aware of what was going on. and just, yeah, I was on the bench at the time, so I was able to just see and observe and just see what, you know, what was happening in the energy, and you can, you can feel it. You know, so I just wanted to get everybody together, you know, just say something to them and just let them know that regardless of what's going on, we, we got to have each other's back. We got to stick together and, you know, do what we got to do and chip away at it.
Last thing for you, Melo, uh, what can you guys take from this to build as you now go on to New York at your next stop? Well, hopefully, um, you know, we can look back at this game throughout the course of the season, later on down the season, to say this was a game that gave us some momentum, you know, kind of changed our season, changed the way that we, you know, our approach in the game, um, you know, our focus level. So hopefully we can look back at, at this game in, in a very positive light. Thanks, Carmelo. Thank you. Oh, so Yo, Carmelo, guys... Carmelo chill, man. I like Carmelo. I'm a little chill. Look at him, just with the with the hoodie, with the glasses, he's just he's just chilling. He's just chilling. I like that. I like man. You know what? I like Melo. That's what I'm saying, man. This is an opportunity to fucking win a ring, man. I think he definitely deserves it, man. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely want to see what what this motherfucker said though. The the puppet. I want to hear what a puppet had to say. Uh, is it this one? But, but my thing is, too, like, Melo said, like, they needed this spark. No, they didn't, man. Like, you needed this altercation in order to build momentum or get some type of type of reasoning to, to, to win. Like, I think y'all should just fucking want to win every game. I think that's everybody's mentality, right? Everybody's mentality should be like that. When they go into a game, they, they yo, y'all... Y'all want to win, right? It shouldn't be like something needs to happen in order for us to win. I don't think that's how it should be. Or maybe that's just me. I, I'm just saying, like, you're in the fucking league. You're getting paid all this money. And then, yo, you got these these kids, like, in fucking... Um, in Detroit, OKC... Um, even Atlanta's young, and look how far they made it. Uh, the Raptors, the Cavaliers, like these are young teams with young talent, and no motherfuckers are balling out. What spark do they fucking need? What type of motivation do they need? They don't need it. They just they're out here to get opportunity to ball, have fun, and win. And that's what they're trying to do. I'm telling you, all the games that the Lakers have played, right, against these teams that, I mean, if you, like I said, before you look at, even if you look at who, they, who, who they're who they facing, maybe like like the Celtics, I, like I said, I, I was going with the Celtics on that one. But, like, teams that right now that you don't consider them making the playoffs, you see them facing the Lakers, you're going to go with the Lakers, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, Lakers got this in the bag. And look, Lakers, they won by five points against Detroit. Who the fuck do, does Detroit have? Who? You know what I'm saying? Like, who? This is what I'm saying. Like, these are teams that they should be blowing out. Or at least playing defense. Where these motherfuckers cannot score, and but these clearly, these these young these young players, these young athletes coming into the league, they can score, or the Lakers are just fucking letting everybody just come into the paint because I know the Celtics game, they the Celtics were like they score like hella points in the paint, like nobody played any defense. But I want to hear what this motherfucker had to say though, uh, for this uh this this post interview bullshit. You know, it was unfortunate contact, you know. Oh, my God, it looks bad, too. Which was a foul. They were trying to shed the contact, and an incidental contact was, you know, obviously not for a play into it. Um, you know, but the, the reaction was what it was, and uh, you know, I think our, our guys did a good job. You know, protecting our teammate, but not trying to escalate. You know, uh, that's what you want. You want peacekeepers in those situations. And, um, you know, for the most part, I feel like our guys did that well. You know, obviously forming a wall around uh, teammates, you know, and uh, standing up for each other without, you know, like turning into something uglier. So, uh, commend our guys for that. Did you see anything from Westbrook and AD in particular, Frank, after that, particularly in the fourth quarter, uh, to turn the tide? Oh, for sure. And, you know, to me, it's one of those things that can change the momentum of your season. You know, to see guys rally around uh, a teammate that, that just got ejected like that. Um, in a, in a strange circumstance, um, played with incredible guts. Started the fourth quarter down 15, 
And um, you know, that's, determin that's the determination that, that, that this team is going to need. Um, you know, these young guys play hard, and we get everybody's best punch every night. You know, so that's how hard we got to play, get W's. So, you know, to see that we can do it and get a tough win on the road, down 15 to start the fourth. I'm sorry. So he said, "This is this is what we got. We, we need to play hard in order to get W's. No fucking shit. No fucking way, bro. I'm not in the fucking league. I'm not a fucking coach at your level, or whatever. But no fucking way, bro. So so is that what you tell the team? Hey guys, you guys need to work hard if you guys want to win. They don't need you to tell them that. They do not need that." They do not need that shit. They're professionals. They've been in the league for how many years now? This is why I say I call this motherfucker a puppet. I'm sorry. There's no... I'm sorry. There's no... No, bro. And then you you guys were... So, when we watched that clip of that incident, the Lakers were down 11 points, and there was like nine minutes in the third quarter. You're telling me that the Pistons were able to keep that league lead? Going into the fourth quarter, and they were up by 15 points. So that means you guys did not take the lead in that third quarter. You guys just, it was just back and forth, back and forth, and then that was it. If that would have built some momentum or spark or whatever, like I said, I didn't watch the game, so I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, if we were to, when we watch the highlights, obviously they're showing, like, you know, when both teams make scores and make. You know, highlight plays. That's what we're watching. We're not watching the whole game. It's different. If we watch the whole game, you know, I think it would be a little bit better. But, I mean, look at I'm not watching the game. All right? I'm just going by, obviously, you're looking at the score. Okay? I mean, we can go ahead and look at the stats. But just to hear, like, what they say after the game, it's just like there's no sense of urgency to fucking like like let's win I mean first of all you're the coach I don't think you need to say that I, I mean tell me if I'm wrong but I don't think you need to say that like when you coach young kids obviously they want to win the game but at the same time they're at that development stage where like you know you're working with them you're trying to build their you know their skill their talent see what they're able to do and what they're not able to do and try to make them as a, you know, as a whole, like, you know, make them come together as a whole, as a unit, work as a team, work together, not, not work individually, not what can one person do and that's it. No, we're, as a coach, when you're coaching young kids, you focus on everything. You don't just focus on an individual, okay? And the NBA is different. And the NBA, like, you know why these guys are in the league. And listen, depending on how the, the you know, how, how the team is rostered up, like if you got a team that is supposed to make it to the playoffs, right? And their expectation is to make it to the finals, I don't think you need to fucking go in the fucking locker room and be like uh y'all need to win or y'all need to play hard to win. I don't think that is what's needed. You know, if you're the coach, then you you figure it out. You put the pieces together and you and you find a way how it works for everybody. You know, you just sitting back and just saying, "Yeah, my guys need to work hard," and and then we'll come, we'll, we'll get the W. If that's the case, yo, uh, any coaches in the fucking league, yo, look me up, look me up. I could do the exact same fucking thing, bro. I could do the exact same thing. Yeah, I I can't, I can't say that, you know, strongly enough. You know, he really has been, uh, you know, uh, a champion for all, all the right causes of what we're trying to get done. Um, you know, the, the defense, the commitment, uh, and buy-in, you know, trying to play for each other. Um, you know, the effort and determination that we have to put forth each night. And, you know, it showed up in that stretch as well. You know, he was the one that uh, spoke up, you know, along with others. You know, to say, like, we can't let this uh, turn out 
to be a lost state. You got to rally around this. So, credit to him. Frank, um, you know, it, it seemed like there was frustration with the, the game in general before um, that the incident broke out. And then obviously, you guys spent some time really struggling on the court. How tough was it to kind of manage the frustrations of that moment and then sort of the escalation of that and then try and refocus these guys? I mean, was it just did it take time? What, what, what were you trying to do at that time to kind of get these guys back on track? Well, obviously, when that happens, you know, you got to get locked in and you got to rally around it. You know, so that's what your talking points are with the team. Um, you got to rise, rise to the level of the occasion and, you know, uh, step, step up for a teammate. You know, that exactly. um, up until that point, you know, we're still trying, we're still figuring each other out, you know, we're still learning each other. And, uh, you know, uh, some stretches look really good and, and some not so good. You know, we're mixing lineups, we're, we're trying to gain some, some traction. Um, you know, in this game, on the defensive side of the ball, uh, there's some positives, some negatives, but you know, the overall theme is that you know, our guys showed the necessary determination to get a, a, a difficult one on the road. And, um, you know, hopefully we can build up. Frank, uh, did you have a chance to connect with LeBron post game between the locker room? And if so, what was your message? If you had one to the team about the way that Yeah, that's, that's really something she stayed in the locker room. I mean, I talked to him, yep. But uh, I'm not going to stay in the locker room. Because he doesn't say anything. Was he, what, what would his conversation be like with LeBron? <laughs> what is he going to tell him? What, I mean, think about it. Like, you're going to go into the locker room. LeBron, you you was wrong. Man, fuck you. All right. <laughs> Yo, what is he going to tell LeBron? You can't say nothing because if you say something wrong, you fired, bro. So, you know, damn well he ain't saying shit. <laughs> That's why he's like, uh, I'm, I'm going to say that for, for you know, whatever we say in the locker room, stays in the locker room. Yeah, because you don't say shit, bitch. He can join. Wait, what? Oh, my God. What'd I do? Fuck. All right, you know, not for nothing, but that, that shit was bad. It, it sounded bad anyways. Um, he can join the Heat coaching staff if he gets fired. Why? Why would you want him? He ain't gonna do shit. I'm just saying, like, I don't know, man. I'm just saying, like, you're, you know, like, listen. If you're a coach, if you're if you're a coach, you you know, you're a coach for a reason. Like, you you run the squad. I'm sorry, but. I think when you got like a a player like LeBron I don't I don't see how you could sit there and be like, Okay, LeBron, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. LeBron's gonna be like, Fuck you, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. Exactly, but I want him to tell LeBron to shut the fuck up and still get me. <laughs> Shit, I'm just saying, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Oh, so I'm just saying, you're, you're when you're when you're a coach, man. Like you know, I'm not a head coach, but when I when I when I'm part of a coaching staff and I'm coaching and helping, you know, these young kids play the game. It, it's you know it's they're they're listening to you they're listening to to what you're what you're advising them to do or what they should do and when they listen and they actually do what you tell them to do in game it, it's kind of it's, it's it's fun to watch you know because you're watching them grow like in time right i listen i i, I can understand where you can't compare the nba and you know High school teenagers, it's not the same because obviously these these are NBA, these are professionals, but they, aren't they always talking about how, yeah, we're trying to work on how to improve our game and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so again, you're, you guys are working on how to improve your game, but 
how you got listen you guys have to work with trainers and listen to them you guys got to work with the coaches and listen to them right do you really think lebron is actually listening to anybody though do you really think so do you really think like somebody at lebron's like level is listening to anybody no he's not he's not and this is what i'm saying like you could be the most talented basketball player in 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 your on your on your team in high school you're going to l- look at the coach and the co- and be like coach really i mean listen there's probably great players out there who are are talented and know that they're great and stuff like that and respect their coaches i'm not going to say all players are like that but i'm just saying when you have an ego like lebron and you pretty much run the league you ain't listening to nobody i'm just saying it ain't ain't no coach out there Who's going to fucking control that motherfucker? I guarantee you that's why Magic Johnson left. Magic, Magic Johnson left the organ, the Lakers organization, and he was part of that, you know, trying to rebuild and stuff like that. And maybe he, he saw it from afar and saw like, wait, wait a second. This is not even, wait, we're doing everything he wants us to do. And maybe that's why he left. I don't know. I'm just assuming. Because you know what? I would have done the same thing too. I would have been like, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm trying to run a organization by what a what a what a player wants. So, I'm just saying, like, why why put yourself in a situation like that? You know. But I mean, listen, if you if you're trying to win rings, you know you're gonna do whatever whatever you gotta do, right? If that means put your tail between your legs, you're gonna fucking do it. And uh, just to give yourself an opportunity to fucking um, win a ring and put your name out there, whatever the fuck. Like, I mean, I don't I don't think Frank Vogel is a great of a coach. Again, what is he doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, you watch his post, his post uh, interviews and it's just like, excuse me. It's like, what? Like, I'm not even like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe this. I don't know. I'm just like, whatever. I want. I want to honestly. I want to hear uh, what uh, Westbrook had to say too. Um, if anything, I want to watch the. Uh, let's see. The Heat didn't play last night, so I guess I don't have to watch them. Them highlights. Ha ha. I think I want to watch the Chicago highlights though. They played against the Knicks and they actually won. Let's uh, let me let me let me, let me watch my boy. All right, let me watch my boy. Let me see what let me see what he had to say. All right, on in the fourth quarter individually and the team seed to feed off your your energy. What was working for you? Um, efficient offense and obviously, um, you know, a bunch of assists as well. Yeah, just um, whenever I can be in attack mode and make sure the team follows is something that <clears throat> is beneficial for me and, and obviously for our team and tonight was the night where we needed it. see what i'm saying you know what i don't think west or westbrook is a problem i just think yo he needs to surround himself with motherfuckers that could run with him how about that how about that they even said it at the beginning right now he just said like feed off his energy you know what i'm saying um especially for myself um especially with brian going out so Russ, he pointed to the, the dunk you had on Diallo as kind of a turning point in the in the in the game. What was trade who for Lonzo? Westbrook for Lonzo? Yo, but Lonzo could shoot. <laughs> Lonzo could shoot though. And why why mess that up? Fuck it, just give. I mean, nah, because then if, if they take Westbrook. He's just gonna mess up the that whole right now what they got going on. No 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 I didn't switch on him. I didn't switch on him. Listen, if we didn't have Lonzo, if we didn't have Lonzo, I would be glad I would gladly request that. I would be like, you know what, fuck it, yeah. Bring him. Bring him. Fuck it. That motherfucker is gonna make it entertaining, yo. You got Westbrook, Levine, the Rosen, Caruso. I mean, Vucevic can't dunk. So, I mean, but they didn't got Derrick Jones Jr. That's alley all day. I mean, I'll, I'll do it if we didn't have Lazo. 
All right, fuck that. So shut up. What was your mindset, kind of, as you looked at it? As it, you know, you guys were trailing, potential, potential loss, you know, third loss this road trip. You know, kind of an ugly <clears throat> night uh, up to that point. Where was, where was your kind of mindset at at that point? Um, not losing. Um, you know, I mentioned the guys in the timeout that we're gonna win this game. We was down 15 at the time, and um, regardless of what happened before, uh, just don't panic. You know, we know that we can close games and take one possession at a time. You have to hit home runs, and, you know, tonight we did a good job of just being solid, making the right plays, making the right reads, um, and it worked out for us. Russ, how are you guys able to maintain composure with all that going on? Just do what he's doing, what he's doing. It's older guys, man. We've, you know, a lot of guys in this team been in so many different situations and as a team, and together um you know we preach togetherness as a unit and you know regardless of what's happening um on other teams and whatever the refs whatever that may happen we got to sit together through everything i'm um, surprised to see Stewart's reaction you know. uh, yeah i don't you know you might ask him that i'm not really sure you know of his reaction or why he did that <laughs> what did the officials say that you were assessed a technical for who got a tech you did you did I got a tech. <laughs> oh wow! Where'd I get a tech? <laughs> I didn't know I had a tech. <laughs> yeah. What do you get a tech for? Wow, that's interesting. Well, you know, that's just being Russell, I guess. When you Russell Westbrook, they just try to do anything. Apparently, <laughs> but whatever. I don't know why. I, got a, I don't know what why I did. Why you get a tech? But whatever. That's funny. They had to put it on somebody. It's easy. To an easy target. Why not me? <laughs> Russ, have, have you been able to talk to LeBron um, yeah. since, since the game That's ended? That's funny. Or, or him, what was his reaction to the win? No, I haven't. I'm still trying to figure out how the hell I got a tech. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Russ, uh, Frank, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, maybe prison of the moment type of thing, but he said Bro, he's this just... could be the, the type of thing that can be a momentum changer for an entire season, the way you guys all <sighs> came together as a group once LeBron went Bro, out. you uh, know what I'm thinking about? Do some regular season. Yo, that's me. <laughs> Yo, I can see myself doing that shit, bro. I can see myself in a game, you know, whatever, doing my interview, and then I, I see I got like a tech. I'm like, wait, what? What the fuck did I do? Like, then again, you know, I I know how I play, you know, I'll be aware of that. But I'm just, <laughs> you know, this dude's reaction is like, how do I got a tech? <laughs> Wins feel more significant uh, than others, and, and where do you think you guys can go from here? Definitely, uh, especially when. Ah, right, you're right. You're right. You know, we've been losing games. We know we should win, um, and when you finally break the seal. Um, and come collectively and get a big road win. It's important. Um, you use the momentum, kind of leading into the next game. Man, yo, that's funny, man. Oh man, <laughs> this dude's like, how did I get a tech? <laughs> when did I get a tech? For what? Oh man, nah, that was nice. Nah, that was... <laughs> Yo, that's funny, man. Wow. Oh man, that that's that's funny. Yeah, you're right now. I'll be I'll be definitely be closing line, motherfuckers, and shit like that. So I I know I I'll, I'll just get kicked out of the game. But even that, bro, I'll be like, damn, why the fuck they kick me out of the game? You know. The fuck that I do? He flopped. I ain't, I ain't do that shit. I just act like LeBron. I'm like, yo, yo, you all right? My bad, my bad, my bad. Everything good, everything good, everything. Good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bro, that is funny, man. See, this is why I like Westbrook. <laughs> this is why I like Westbrook, man. That's funny, man. That was funny. Oh man. I like these I like these post interviews man. I think I think that's just funny man. I think that's just funny. 
Because, yo, so, you know, you listen to these guys and you hear what they have to say after the game. And depending on whether they win or lose, like, you know, they're talking about how, you know, they're trying to obviously get the W, work together, figure things out, get momentum and stuff like that. Like, I like that. I want I want to hear it. I want to, you know, because we're just watching the game, right? And at least the interview gives us a little, a little bit more inside, especially from coming from the player. And we're hearing what they're saying. And, um, you know, we can kind of like kind of like nitpick at certain things on what they're saying and just get a feel for it. And I kind of like that. You know, like I said, I really wanted to hear about the fight, you know, see like what was their, you know, what were they thinking when this fight broke out? And, uh, you know, and then like, I mean, clearly we saw it at the beginning kind of like in slow motion and like I said give give you my my feedback on how I felt about the situation but you know just to see what the other guys thought about it as well is another thing too but then to hear like Melo just pretty much chill and he's just like you know like you know we needed <laughs> the fact that he's like we needed this spark <laughs> you needed a fight to break out in order to motivate you to win come on man but he says it's so like chill though, like you know, like yeah, we 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 gotta we got we you know we got this spark now that you know just motivated us to to you know pull together as brothers and uh, you know get this get this W. <laughs> Yo, come on, man! Even Frank Vogel, Vogel's like, yeah, you know, after that, you know, you know, we came together and. Uh, we were there for each other, and uh, you know, we, we tried to get this, went out there and get this W for uh, for LeBron, you know, so so he knows that we have his back. <laughs> what? Yo, shut up! Shut up, man! <laughs> oh man, that's funny, man. That that's funny. Ah right, yo, so my Bulls got the W. I want to see how they played, and the Knicks, like I said, Knicks. Knicks doing their thing. They play defense and shit like that. Tom Thibodeau, Derrick Rose, A, hey, um, you know, and uh, Kemba. Hopefully Kemba plays so we can, we can see some highlights from that. So let's, let's check that out. I like that. I like that analogy. So you're already coming out here on fire. I mean, look. He's on fire. Oh, oh, what you mean, that. man? I've always been a Bulls fan, man. But the Knicks have it. There's Fournier. Caruso, where you at, yo? Fournier for the first basket. Three missed it long. Rebound lines up ahead. Slam dunk city. Oh, he want a foul? Oh. Yeah, I mean, they've been calling. All right, so so you see that, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so he got he got hit in the head, all right. And obviously you're gonna react to that, right? But if this was if this was uh if this was LeBron who hit him, and then he goes to LeBron, and be like, hey yo, what the fuck, man, right? Right, and then LeBron's gonna be like, "Bro, my bad. I didn't mean to do that shit." Do, 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 right? Nah, bro. Like, come on. And then the way he's reacting, he's like, "Yo, what the fuck? Like, where's the foul at?" LeBron would have done the exact same thing. He'd be like, "Yo, he would. He instead of looking this way, he he would have ran to the ref that's over here or ran to this ref and be like, "Hey, yo, you gonna make that call or what?" And then we get a late whistle because that's how much you know they listen to LeBron. Just saying. I mean, you, they've been calling that flagrant for the longest. Anytime you're above the shoulders. Oh, now Zach's playing angry. Bradley over the shoulder for two. Uh, Bradley right there. Uh, no, no, Vucevic. No, Vuce. Oh, shit. Lonzo got the braids. Oh, you know, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Ooh, Julius Randle. Yeah, that battle's gone to him so far. Lonzo slashing and missing, and he gets it back because of Bradley. Bradley right there, active tonight. Active hands kept that ball alive. Yeah, and they're active. That's a young center. What I say, yo. What I say. He got the braids. He's feeling it. It's a little early for everybody. Society warrants it. He makes those shots look so difficult for other people. And the Knicks, he had Billy. a big fourth quarter on Saturday. Billy is telling him to push it. Well, again, they're, they're not doubling. 
What the fuck's going on? What is this shit? It even warned me. Fucker. My bad, you guys. You know, I got that YouTube premium, so you know what I'm saying? It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Nah, I'm not promote. I'm not I'm not sponsored by Amazon or nothing like that. Okay, let's uh, or Samsung. Lines up for three. Ball, it's the Braves, man. It's the Braves. It gives you a plus four. Against Jones with the length. Dick Rose all the way. Oh. Uh, like you never left. Like you never left. Uh-uh. 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 pull up. I mean, listen, if you go make it, fuck it, right? He makes Mike uh -oh. Green look like the most conservative dresser on earth. Yes, he makes us all look like we're conservative. Yeah, that's right. Knicks are coming back. They've got five in a row. A little up and under for Julius Randle for two. He's not He's kicked out. Six. They started two for ten. The Rosen all the way. Damn, ain't nobody stopped him. Nobody stepped up. He was on Autobahn right there. He went straight 94 feet. Fun thing. Like you could unlock him, though. Yeah. I, I kind of left him locked up because he wasn't <laughs> that good. There you go. Kobe White, oh, Kobe White back. He's a catalyst offensively, too, in terms of his passing. It's Ayo De Silva ranks in a three. Ayo Silva. Burks again, a big fourth quarter in their game yesterday. Rose will be topping. Corner, got a catch and shoot jumper for Toppin. The Rosen for Kobe White to the corner. Knocks it down. Give me the hot sauce. AC. Who else are you going to be talking to? You're at home. I was asleep for like 30 hours. Oh Here's Ayo in the corner oh, for two. Nice, so Ayo. I, I, I came on now. You supposed to scratch my back? I scratch your back. Here we go then. Make it happen. Into the corner. Off the yo, field. don't leave Rose open, man. Rose can hit that. Y'all know D Rose, yo. He can shoot. The Rose. Damn. It's the Braves, man. I'm telling you, he gives you plus four. Damn it, Levine. It really yeah. get it was a weak foul. ass foul. Six to shoot for Lonzo Ball. Hopping down the lane. Four green on the lead ball for two. I tell you, that's a nice little role play between. Yeah, the technique gets a little loose. Yeah, a little bit different. Fourth foul on Javante Green, as you said. Here is Rose over Jones. That's all day, yo. See, I don't know Rose. Rose makes those all day. Yeah, one of the best bench scoring the floaters. In the NBA. They're third in the NBA. <laughs> what beard, bro? You ain't got no damn beard. <laughs> I mean, you can probably put some extensions in order to break that shit. Ooh, uh. Yo, what the fuck is this shit? Fuck. My bad, my bad, people. My bad, my bad. Skip, skip, skip. Oh, how you fall for that? Levine, come on, man. You don't fall for that shit. <clears throat> Six point game and a half. So, not that bad. That's a top notch human being. And basically grew up a Bulls fan, like a lot of these kids do. Caruso sweeping through for two. AC is. AC fresh. Oh, you had an alley right there. DeRosa. Oh, wow. oh. It's a separation because he can go by you off that dribble, but he raises up. Hey. Tony Bradley and Kemba Walker, and it's Kemba Walker for two. Ooh, spin move to the Rosen. Oh.
I mean, that's a mismatch, man. Lonzo, he did what he could. He put his hands over everything. Another one? That's a foul. There's no need to jump, man. All you can do, do, do is put your hands up. I can't let it grow long enough. Got to keep it clear for the moment. Of time. <laughs> Listen, man. I'm just saying when people see this and they be like, yo, you know, you're going out of town. They'll be mad when they be questioning you. Like, yo, you know, what's up with you going out of town? Stuff like that. And then you can't be like, oh, don't listen to Vic. You just admitted it. So, the same, don't, 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 don't go along with it. You know, if you ain't gonna back it up, just saying. And the offensive rebound is an opportunity for Barrett, who gets two more and a foul. Yeah, chat. If y'all don't, if y'all don't see me live on 2K Live, because this motherfucker is always out of state every weekend. So just so you know, y'all know. So now the Knicks have the lead in the third quarter. And this would have been a good game to watch. The movement. Uh, one more. Who that? Derrick Jones Jr. can shoot threes? No, he can't. See, that's why everybody's like, yo, since when? Oh, good pass. See, that's what I'm saying, man. These young players, man, they just they moving around. Athletic and shit. Come on, man. Find that stroke. Right now in the second half of the Bulls, up by Bulls six. Up. Kobe top it. He shot that with confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. He's come in and been big here in the fourth quarter. Stole who? Oh, no, he didn't. Y'all yeah, yeah, traded his ass. I think that dude was with Portland. And then he got, he came to us. Can find some open shots that spark this run. Here is the corner three. Oh, oh, we opened up a case of hot sauce. Devontae Green, the screen to Rosen for ball. Extra pass. Kobe White. Wow. It's Kobe White night. Oh. Welcome back. 94 91, four minutes left. Goes up. That's money. So all day, that mid range is all day. And then Barrett for the end one. DeRozan got into the body of Barrett, and it's suddenly a three-point game again. Defense echoes through the United Center. Wendell bullied his way in. That's what I'm saying, man. I think the Bulls just need to pick up a body, man, like a big body. Power forward body, pretty much. Oh, my goodness. He spun it in. Randall for two and a foul. Four-point game. Your final score, the Bulls are winners tonight. Yes, big win. 109 to 103. I think that's what the Bulls need, man. I think the Bulls need a, a big body, man. A, someone in the, in the front end to, to defend in the post. Um, I think that's what they need. So, overall, it looked like, I mean, it looked like a good game back and forth. But like, this is what I'm saying. Like, the Bulls need to, um, they need to know how to win these close games. Um, because it's going to help them moving forward. Like, again, I'm calling them a season team. I'm not sold that they're a playoff team. But I think that they can... Uh, they can make some noises again. Wh wherever they are in the uh, in the playoffs, to be honest, wherever, whatever seed they they end up being in the in the playoffs, first round is gonna be a tough matchup, and then it's just gonna get tougher. So I'm not really sold, man. I'm really not, to be honest. I'm not really sold at all. 
but I'm glad that, you know, they're, they're having fun. They're playing basketball. I can't ask for anything more than that. So I definitely, definitely respect that. Bulls and six. Bulls and six and what? They're not going to win, bro. They're not going to win. So uh, let's see. Monday. So today's Monday. So uh, we got. I'll show you guys. Let's see who's see who's playing today. We got the Nets and the Cavs. I'm going with the Nets for that one. Hornets and Wizards. Ah, uh, damn, 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 damn. Uh, I know the Hornets have been doing pretty well. I don't know if they won their last game. I feel like they did. I'm going to go with the... Uh, let's go. Uh, I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with the Hornets. Fuck it. I'm going with the Hornets. I know the Hornets can pull that one off. I'm going with the Hawks. I guess the Thunder, Hawks. Even though... Yeah, I'm fucked up. I'm going with the Hawks. Rockets and Celtics. I'm going with the Celtics. The Bulls and the Pacers. I'm going with the Bulls. Bucks and Magic. I'm going with the Bucks. Wolves and Pelicans. I'm going with the Wolves. Suns and Spurs. I'm going with the Suns. Grizzlies and Jazz. I'm going with the Jazz. 76ers and Kings, I'm going with the Sixers. So, in the first round, Bulls and Six, unless y'all play my Heat, then Heat and Five. I mean, I mean, oh, sorry. I think that he could, uh, nah, they can't sweep the Bulls. I was about to say they could sweep the Bulls, but I don't think so. Never mind, just kidding. Uh, so yeah, so those are my picks for tonight's game. Hopefully, I can be on tomorrow. Hopefully, once little man takes a nap, I hear him. So that's why I'm about to about to be out. Um, but yeah, so uh, you know those who uh, stayed this far, appreciate it. Uh, you know, y'all make y'all make the the live go smooth and you know the discussions and shit like that so i really appreciate that nah because one game we gotta let haslam play that's <laughs> yo i don't even know why haslam is still playing why is why is he there he's just gonna what is it he's gonna uh this year this should be 20 years right and then next year to be 21 so does that really count like yeah he's been in the league for 20 plus years he's he's you know like why? How you gonna be proud of that, bro? You didn't even play. You didn't. You didn't play. So, um, I'm just saying, like, you know, a couple minutes, one game every every month. Yeah, that, that's something to be. Like, yeah, I played in the league for 20 plus years. Yeah, but you really didn't play. So, but uh, but yeah, man. Again, like, appreciate it. Uh. Like I said, you know, um, the guys getting their shit together. We're trying to do our thing. And um, like I said, I enjoy doing this. So especially since I got the time. Um, like I said, once I'm done with my lives, I upload it right away. So if you guys don't aren't able to catch it when I'm live, you guys can watch the whole thing on YouTube. And then again, I'll do my best to like try to like edit it and cut certain pieces where you know i think a little bit more valuable so then you guys ain't stuck watching the whole thing to catch certain points and shit like that so um you know in my short clip uh playlist uh and some some in um some in the vip ball talk i have uh videos there that isn't as long but i mean you know five minutes ten minutes rather than a whole two hour video of just certain topics pretty much that I feel like are are important. And like I said, if you guys come across something, you know, just make sure you comment um, in in that section and let us know, you know, if there's something that we should get into more or if there's something, a topic that we, we brought up that, you know, you want to discuss or whatever. And this is why it's good to catch us live because you can actually talk to us live while we're, you know, doing our thing. 
and we're also trying to um you know trying to come up with our with our page as a whole you know because these are this is my individual channel but you know it it feeds off of you know our main channel that we're trying to create which is called drop point so again um be on the lookout for that you know like i said me and the fellas are working on you know trying to get trying to come up with a schedule where we all can come together and and do this and then maybe play a game live that you guys can watch like i said we're it's just plug and play you know we're just trying to f get get the groove on things and try to figure shit out but just you know be on the lookout for that and um make sure you follow the guys pages as well again i'll let them do their thing when they come on and they can you know shout out their channel and shit like that um because you know you gotta pay me to promote so i mean not really i mean you know that whatever whatever once once we get the official official names for everybody and the channel shit like that you know we'll we'll be we'll be here for each other and make sure that you know you guys follow each other and then you know once we're live or whatever you guys can watch whoever you guys want to watch so but again i do appreciate you guys making it this far into the video again hopefully y'all catch some of the some of my tiktok some of the um short clips on youtube and um and like it share it comment or dislike it y'all can put a thumbs down i don't care it don't matter to me but um but you know like i said i think uh you know us as a as a whole we 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 hit on topics that not only uh you know speaks about sports basketball but it, it, it just you know it also we also talk about um you know life uh you know how certain certain things affect us on a day-to-day -day basis and shit like that but here you know you guys come through talk about your day you know if you're having a bad day you know we're here to you know give our advice and hopefully make it into a positive and and if you're going through some tough bullshit then you know listen we're here for a good time good vibes all the time so we just want to we just want to like showcase that energy to those as well we don't want to you know we don't want no bad juju we don't want no no negative energy but at the same time this is reality reality is that you know today may not be a good day for some of us but we gotta look ahead and think about tomorrow right to be like you know what fuck it something happened it already happened you can't do that to, to change it right so you just got to keep moving forward and if this is a platform where you guys can come through and, and like i said i mean i'm doing this you know when when i have the time and because you know when little man lets me but i mean i can go on live like me and the fellas you know if we can we can go on live later tonight and you know talk to you guys and whatever but we also game too so like that's another way where you guys can interact with us as well when we're on live and you know whatever but i feel like here is more like i can actually like actually talk you know to you guys rather than me playing a game and then i'm like more in the game because if y'all watch some of the games i'm like like i'm in it you know but i try to reach out and all that bullshit so <coughs> excuse me um but yeah you know so like I said, make sure y'all follow, turn on the notification bells and stuff like that on on all our all all our channels, so you guys can uh, keep up with us and um, keep an eye out for any time we drop a video and stuff like that. So, anyways, again, appreciate you guys for making it to the end of the video or coming through the live. I really do appreciate it. It was a good two hours. Um, and if the missus is watching, I'm out. All right, I'm gonna, you know, little man just woke up, so calm your ass down. All right, and if you're watching, you should not be watching because you sh you're actually supposed to be at work, working, apparently. But then again, y'all don't do shit. So yeah, but anyways, I'm just you know, uh, but anyways, uh, appreciate you guys again. Like I said, make sure y'all like, follow, and share. And uh, hope to see you guys tomorrow. And hopefully uh, you guys catch a couple games uh, tonight. If not, if y'all watching a football game, it's the Giants and Bucks. That should be, uh, I'm not going to say it's going to be an interesting game. But I mean, there's a bunch of Tom Brady fans out there anyway. So, um, 
it's, I mean, I got to keep an eye out for that one, even though because I'm on a fantasy league and uh, my team is winning by luck. That's all I can say. They're winning by luck. Uh, but if y'all, pay, if y'all play fantasy league, that's cool and everything. Uh, I didn't do an NBA one because um, it's it's up to, you know, Minor Munir to create that shit. And he didn't do it because he's too busy going in and out of state and shit like that. So, unfortunately, you know, we're just doing this NFL league bullshit. But anyways, I'm leave it at that. Again, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you guys watch this in the morning, good morning. If you watch this in the afternoon, good afternoon. If you watch this at the evening, good evening. If you watch this at night, good night. And again, enjoy the rest of your day. And if you watch this toward the end of the day, then have a great day the next day. All right. So again, peace out. Have a good one. And uh, hope to catch you guys tomorrow.